Hey everyone, Phil here, and I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on this Airbnb that we stayed at overnight because uh, Sofia, Lucia, and Manuel and myself actually went out to a birthday party was that's actually kind of on the on the edges of Guayaquil. So I just wanted to show you guys what it was like. Um, excuse the mess as well because we are actually leaving today uh, within the next 20 minutes. But uh, as you can see, this is the master bedroom. It has two beds, including all our stuff that's that's on this one over here. That, that was the one that we slept on. Uh, we didn't use this bed, so obviously everything is just kind of uh, kept the same. And then we're gonna walk over. We're gonna walk over to the bathroom. This is the walk-in closet. And the interesting thing in this master bathroom is that the bath, there's an additional bathroom here with a shower. So I'm just gonna turn on the lights. And as you can see, it's pretty nice. Uh, one of the interesting things too is that even though that they have the shower set up like uh, a lot of the typical showers here in Ecuador, the it's you can adjust the heat just by uh, turning the dial at the bottom. So you know anyone that's uh, more familiar with that that type of uh, shower, I think is gonna be you know feel right at home. Uh, so right now we're gonna walk to towards the living room area or the hallway. And then over here, maybe no one's in the bathroom. This is the other bathroom that connects to the living room area. So as you can see, a little bit of a different setup, a little bit bigger so that you know other people can use it and things like that. And then the additional bedroom. And I didn't mention this earlier too, is that uh, each of the bedrooms actually has an air conditioner. And I actually particularly like the view and the setup in this room better in my personal opinion, but having that extra bathroom within the master bedroom was gonna be kind of critical for the stuff that I do, if you know what I mean. And uh, again, just a really great view of, of the, the main highway here, uh, but also just kind of uh, that, that hillside. So really cool. And then we're gonna jump over. And also, you know, before I, I forget, they also have uh, an iron, so they have all the amenities that you need. The Wi-Fi, which I didn't actually use. And then we're going to go towards the dining room, living room area, and the kitchen. And you're going to see Sophia's sister there and her boyfriend. Living room, the television, dining room, and then you see Manuel and Lucia over there. And then this is the kitchen slash bodega area where, where you can do your laundry. There is an additional bathroom, but you can't use it. Uh, but it's not necessary. I mean, it's only two bedrooms. and. Even if you had more people in here, it wouldn't, it, you really wouldn't need it. So I got my coffee waiting here. You got the stove. So it's got everything you basically need. Uh, this is, you don't see this too often, but they, they have a, a coffee maker here, which um, I gladly made some coffee for my morning. And I can say uh, this is a really great place. I definitely, the next time I'm in this particular area, kind of just, it's in Guayaquil, but it's kind of a, on the outskirts where it's not as crazy. And even though you do get the hum of the highway, it's still a very relaxing place to stay in a place that I highly recommend. There are additional things that you can do outside, you know, like there's a tennis court, basketball court, and actually a pool that's shared with uh, some residential condos. But um, uh, we didn't get a chance to do it today because we, when we went to the party, we got in really late. Uh, but since uh, you know, since this place was really close, it made it convenient for us to come over here and sleep versus like trying to lo locate a place that was near where uh, Lucia's friends was. So uh, we arrived really late, woke up late, so didn't get a chance to use the pool or anything like that. But otherwise, great place, highly recommend it. And there's a lot of other activities outside of here. There's the mall and um, a lot of commercial buildings like uh, large stores and things like that that you can check out. But uh, this is the Airbnb out in Guayaquil towards the west of the city, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah.